All right, everyone. This is the Hammered Aerosol Smith, and so far I'm pretty pleased with uh, this uh, Terminator Killer Seven style um, laser mount or flashlight mount, scope mount, whatever. It's a mount fitment. We got that so far in the last two videos that I put up. This is part three, and uh. Possibly the second to last part, hopefully. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I was very excited a couple minutes before the video, and I couldn't wait anymore. And I actually test fired uh, this Colt 1911 A1 airsoft gas pistol uh, with the mount fitment without the flashlight. I just want to make that clear. I fired it without the the flashlight uh, three to four maybe five times I did it because I, I probably got like a little excited and kept doing it and it didn't get loose at all it is what it is wiggly right here <laughs> wiggly <laughs> because this is a, a, a plastic piece right there and most of this is held together with uh, the gorilla Glue right here, super glue, impact tough formula, all that jazz. Um, but I covered that in the last video. This is the old WE slide. It's the one that's like seven years old. It's obviously not the really beautiful blue looking one. That's the test slide I mentioned in the last video. Everything on here. Everything else but the slide, the blowback housing unit, and all the internals of the blowback housing unit. Uh, and the bushing are, uh, belong to that pistol. I'm wearing these gloves because, one, it's very hot and my hands are sweating quite a bit. Um, two, I have uh, repainted the frame to the pole, as I'm sure you know, it's not black anymore. It's this. It's a Rust-Oleum hammered finish. It's gray. And actually, the advertisement on uh, the cap here is legit. As I'll show here. But getting to the long-weighted point. Um, this would be my first time test firing the pistol with the mount, with the flashlight. So, this is going to be legit on camera. So, here's the magazine. We're going to go. Put on your safety glasses. We don't know what's going to happen here. So I'm only going to fire it three times. Alright. Here we go. Good. Did not get loose at all. Again, if I am moving it and there's a slight wiggle, it may be this, because it is long and flimsy. And it may be this flashlight mount, because the flashlight mount here has broke before. Obviously, this is not the original uh, screw and nut. Very uh, garish looking to be a tactical light mount screw or whatever. But you guys have witnessed it. Guys have definitely witnessed it. And just just to be fair, um, just throwing this out here. It's a little, actually a lot off topic. It is about 90 degrees in this room. Uh, I know I sound like I'm complaining. 
I'm really not because I actually am kind of comfortable. I'm kind of used to the heat. But this is running on propane, and this is a 7-year-old WE pot metal slide. I don't know what everyone's complaining about with WE, apparently the slides crack. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself either, but... The slide didn't blow up in my face or crack or anything. But while we're at it, might as well get some... gun porn going on here. I did polish up the slide a little bit better than it used to be. There are some pivots from when I first covered the, the paint on here, because... I let someone borrow the gun for a minute and scratch the original paint from here to here. I almost freaked out on him, so I had him strip all the paint down and he didn't do a very good job, but it doesn't really matter. Because uh, it just makes it look worn and old. This is also the same slide that I aged at one point. So, um, yeah. Let's also, uh, turn on that light. Maybe if I, uh, give me a minute, I want to actually, can make it a little more dark in here, so that way you guys can actually see the light better. And it's a little bit better, you guys get the gist, the batteries might be dying, it's a very weird old flashlight, but um, there you have that. That is just absolutely fantastic. Um, next, I'm just going to finish this grip panel. I'm going to mask off the rail section there. And uh, I'm going to probably paint this and lacquer it. I'm going to lacquer the back side too so that way it, uh, it seals up. And uh, any of the cracks that do come undone, they won't get any worse. So, there's that. Um, yep, that's it. Thank you guys very much for witnessing this. I'm very, very pleased and excited about this. I hope it lasts a while. And if this thing ever does come loose, which I hope it doesn't, because, of course, from here on out, I'm probably going to have it fitted. Uh, I'm going to have my blued slide fitted to this as usual. Again, this is a test slide. Um, I know I mentioned that a few times, but just making that clear. Um, yeah, if it gets loose, it's going to ruin the paint. It's going to smack into it, but I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't get loose. But if it does, I can just pour more of this back on there. So every now and then i got to re-glue it. It sounds like a pain in the ass, but... I don't know. This gun kicks really hard. It's really freaking hot in here. It's on propane. So, I mean, if it held up now, it's going to hold up a while. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to use this in, like, skirmishing, because, or in-game or whatever, because it's just not practical. <laughs> Put this in a holster, you probably could, but taking it back out, or trying to holster it real quick, it's just not going to work. So obviously you won't use this on a race gun either. This is more just a show piece kind of panel. It will be used. It's not like a, a wall hanger trophy freaking thing or nothing. Like I didn't put all this work into it so it can be hung up. But anyway, long story short, very satisfied again for the billionth time. I really wish I had some damn beer so I can celebrate. I am the hammered airsoft smith after all. I'm not hammered right now though. I wish I was. But... Alright. Uh, I hope you guys like the outcome. I uh, hope you guys like the the hammered paint job again. Yeah, I'm trying that again. I did three coats of paint. I did three coats of lacquer. Yada, yada, yada. I'll get into that another time. Um, yep, you will be seeing this coat again. It's not going anywhere, so... If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. Alright guys, thanks. See you later before I go on and on and on.